guys want to see a strange game? Come over to my show to see what's up. Hey Falcons, I may or may not be um, in the upside down right now, stuck. But anyways, if you're seeing this, send help and um, tune into our show to see a Stranger Things show. Some baseball postseason news. If you do, then head on to our show. If you want to know what strange things we have this week, then stay tuned to find out. The song is going to be good. So stay tuned for this week's broadcast to find out what the song of the week is. I don't know what the strangest thing of the weekly poll is. Just keep over to my show to find out what it is. It's all about strange things. So tune into our show to see a new Coke experiment. And the word of the day is upside down, and the number of the day is 11. Isaac, what's your, fav what's your favorite Stranger Things character? I don't like Stranger Things. How dare you? Anyway, mine is Dustin. Okay, well, let's get to the weekly poll with Elijah Gunnar to see who other people's favorite Stranger Things characters are. <laughs> Falcons, I'm your host Elijah Gnard for this strange weekly pulse. Today's week is special, so let's ask out 11. <laughs> and students, which makes the weekly poll who is your favorite Stranger Things character? Now let's see the responses. My favorite Stranger Things character is Mike. My favorite Stranger Things character is Dustin. My favorite Stranger Things character is 11. My favorite Stranger Things character is um, 11. My favorite Stranger Things character is Max. My favorite Stranger Things character is Eleven. Demogorgon. <laughs> Demogorgon. My favorite character is Dustin. <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> Dustin. Eleven. Now let's see the responses. Max gets 9%, Mike gets 9%, Demogorgon gets 18%, Eleven gets 27%, and the winner is Dustin with 36%. If you want to be in the upside down, name a yellow fruit. Orange. Um, go to the Stranger Things maze on October 31st. Anyways, now back to the studio with Isaac and Joaquin. <laughs> Captain Fairgrove, where can he be? Falcon Woman, now! 
He's too powerful. No! Dr. Lava, that's it. Somebody get me one of those FATV shirts. I feel so powerful. I've got to help Falcon Woman. And then I'm going to smash Dr. Lava. Ah! Well, no. Captain Falcon has one of those cursed FATV shirts. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Unless... Suddenly, the strange luminescent powder begins to take effect. I summon all of my lava powers and knock him into another dimension. <laughs> Adventures of Captain Falcon. I come to a Stranger Things maze? Well, because then it's your lucky day. On October 31st, inside the Tech Center, the broadcast crew will be hosting a Stranger Things maze for only $5. And don't forget about the Stranger Things Club and hear for an interview about it. One of the founders, Simone. We have one of the creators of the Stranger Things Club, Simone. Thank you. <laughs> now, Simone, what do you think the club will end up by the end of the year? I think it'll be still going on, but I think most of the kids will be upset because the leaders won't be there anymore. But for now, we're trying to do our best and make it fun for and entertaining for all the kids. Do you think? Do you think that the club will be a event that happens every year for the school from now on? Um, probably, or some of the kids might take on as later role, or someone else. Okay. Now, how do you feel about the upcoming maze? I'm really excited, actually. I'm, I was screaming my head out when it popped up on broadcast. And it was really exciting to see that our club inspired to do a maze. And I'm really happy for that. Any more things you want to add? Um... For now, I wanted to say to all the people that are watching this, if you want, you can join anytime as you want. Every Tuesday is at lunch, Mr. Cabral's room, and it's really fun and entertaining for all the kids. About the maze, it's time for sports news with Edgar and Devon. Howdy, Falcons. I'm your favorite host, Edgar and also. And I'm your favorite co-host, Devon Dixon. The Tech Center will be having a Stranger Things maze on October 31st, and tickets are five bucks. Yeah, yeah. To start the show off, let's see the ALDS and NLDS scores. The Doyers have been eliminated from playoffs and they lost 7-3. to three. This is deep to center field. Bellinger's back, it's a grand slam! Howie Kendrick with a 10th inning grand slam to break it open. Wow. It is seven to three, the former Dodger breaking hearts in Los Angeles. You talk about staying through a ball, and look, there's fans leaving already. And Cardinals blew out the Braves, winning 13 to one. The Astros lost to the Rays eight to one, and the series is currently two to one. The Yankees clinched the series and beat the Twins five to one. This ball is hit hard to right, and Judge tracks it down with a dive. Rosario is robbed. One, two. Cross down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. Grand slam, Gregorius. DD does it again to Minnesota. The Yankees seven and the Twins nothing. That is caught by Gregorius. What a play. The Yankees have swept up. Now we have less than 11. More games to the World Series. I was hop into some B-Bow. The Lake Show beat the Golden State Warriors 123 to 101. It's going to be the roller on a lot of those pick and rolls, just like that. Danny Green, corner three. 
firing there at the line by JaVel McGee. And it just kind of hand-drawn the foul. He said it, he's super clean the glass. Steve Kerr's hand coach, we're good with that. Steph will never be more open. Now let's hop into some school sports. Football, lost to Mr. Robles. Volleyball, lost to Mr. Robles too. That's it for school sports. Now let's hop into some football. The All Day Raiders won 24 to 21. Nine, and on a play action, the pass is drilled and it's gonna be caught by Trevor Davis into Bear territory in a first. And here is Jacobs with a first down. A couple of missed tackles, but the five times and passed for four occasions. And here is Jacobs back in the game and Jacobs is going to score. Touchdown, Oakland. For Chase Daniel, and his pass is intercepted. Picked off by Nicholas Morrow. And the Raiders get another big break here. Here's Washington trying to run it in, and he does. Touchdown, Raiders. Could be a last-ditch effort for the Bears, and Chase Daniel will go down, and that will end the game. Maurice Hurst, and the fourth sack of the game for the Raiders, who have won two in a row for the first time since 2007. And it's a first down, and here's Jalen Richard with a good clip with the guy flipped upside down. I have banana peel on the ground. I'm gonna see if it's really slippery like it is in the cartoon. <laughs> Didn't know my credit was whack because now I'm driving off the lot in a used subcompact. F R E P, that spells free credit. Re Pretty cool. <laughs> the Rams lost 30 to 21. <laughs> That's a wrap for this week. Now let's zoom back to the studio with Isaac and Hockey. <laughs> okay, do you wanna know about a really strange game? No. You aren't the least bit curious? No. Mm. Well, I guess it's time for Game Alert with Vicente Rivera then. What's up, Fair Club? I'm your host, Vicente Rivera Jr. And this week's theme is Stranger Things. And this week's game is Stranger Things 3, the game. And this week's game was released July 4th, 2019. This game supports PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac, Mac 11. That's almost 11. Aww. Jesus, 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 I love to praise you. This game can make that frog turn upside down. But anyways, here's the show. The Stranger Things three game looks fun. Fun? What? The Stranger Things maze. One through at one through three p.m. on October thirty first inside the Tech Lab. I thought you were gonna say weird science. Anyway, speaking of weird science, now time for weird science. Alex Angosa. So we are doing a new Coke experiment, basically a methods experiment. We're going to compare the explosion of a Diet Coke and a normal Coke. This experiment might go upside down. Now let's go prepare. So you're going to need Coke, Diet Coke, paper, and some Mentos. Make sure you go to an area where you can wet. This is going to be messy. 
Uncap your sodas and grab a paper and fold it into a cone. Now let's see which explosion can go higher than 11 inches. When you're ready to unpack the Mentos, unpack them and then slide them in. Well, this happens when all the carbon dioxide, the fizz, gets squeezed all out because of the catalyst. This reaction is called a nucleation. Well, that's it for this week. I'll see you next time, Falcons. Now back to the studio with Joaquin and Isaac. Now let's go to the upside down. That's good. That's damn good. I can't wait to go to Hawkins Middle School and see my friends Mike, Lucas, and Dustin and maybe kiss a girl for my first time. OMG Eleven, you are just so powerful. Hashtag Hero Power. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for the Stranger Things maze on October 31st. Make sure to get your tickets only for $5. It's from 1 to 3 at the Media Tech Center. So get your tickets. Well, Falcons, the- Hold on. Let me guess. Well, Falcons, the show is almost over. No. Then what were you going to say? Exactly. You all have ideas and it's only week seven. Like what I was going to say. I'm so excited for all the candy and the maze on Halloween, but you know it's even bit. Right. It goes and that's better than anything you can say. Anyway, now time for Song of the Week with Rose and Alexis. Bye. Oh, shut up. If you wanna go, then I'll be so lonely. If you leave me, baby, let me down slowly. Let me down. What's up, Falcons? I'm Rose Campos, your host for Song of the Week, and I'll be showing you some pictures while you listen to this week's song. The name of this week's song is Should I Stay or Should I Go? This song was released in 1982 by The Clash. Its genre is punk. I wouldn't mind being stuck in the Upside Down with 11. I hope you enjoyed this week's broadcast. Bye, Falcons. See you next week. Should I stay or should I go? It's always taste, taste, taste. You're happy when I'm on my knees One day is fine and next is black So if you want me off your back Well come on and let me know Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now? Decisions bugging me. If you don't want me, set me free. Exactly who I'm supposed to be. Don't you know which clothes even fit me? Come on and let me know. Should I cool it or should I blow?